All right, we're headed to the Appalachian Trail. How are you feeling? Oh my goodness. Well, a few pounds. That's pretty light for a pack. <laughs> Trail approach um, Ranger Station start. I just had a great leave no trace training um, and I feel so prepared and ready. To the main start message is make sure that you remember what yes. I told you about. Okay, you take this way to that. Leave no trace. get to Springer Mountain today and then start the Appalachian Trail. So I'm feeling super excited even though it's raining. My energy is like up there. And yeah, and Kendra has treated me to such a great weekend together <laughs> and we just really got to spend time. Oh. So I'm feeling all ready. So yeah, yeah day one, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Foggy, misty, beautiful view of Amakalola Falls. I think it gets even bigger. It goes up even higher. So here we go. Ah. I'm following blue blazes to the top. Got too hot. My hood, but it's definitely still raining. Yay. Wow. Yikes. So it started snowing a bit but really not too bad. I haven't had to bust out the umbrella. I did bring that. It's just mostly for the downpours, like intense, intense downpours. So we'll see how long I hold on to that, but I have it and it's not so bad. I'm, I'm feeling just really peaceful. I kind of have some poetic thoughts flowing in my mind and that's nice. Snow's definitely falling a little harder now, a little thicker, fluffier. But overall, not bad. Everything's okay. <laughs> Springer Mountain, 3.5. The snow kind of let up and now it's just foggy and a little wet. <laughs> so 
I'm about five miles in and it's been two hours. So moving along, feeling good, feeling excited to get to the monument, the top of Springer, to officially start the Appalachian Trail. Um, and yeah, I haven't seen many hikers. I, I met two AT through hikers this morning at the ranger station. I believe their names are Tom and John. So hi, if you're watching this, that was exciting. They recognized me from YouTube, so that was really fun. If you ever see me out on trail, say hi. But uh, um, yeah, otherwise like I've passed, I think some like section hikers, some overnighters, but really it's been like, pretty quiet out here. I think it makes sense because it's pretty <laughs> rainy and snowy and dreary. Um, and tomorrow is supposed to be sunny. So I'm sure there were other through hikers that decided to push their start date till tomorrow, possibly. Um, yeah, so I'm hiker 164. So that's crazy that there have already been 164 163 through hikers register at the ranger station and get a little hanger tag. Like that is so many people ahead of me. So yeah, I'm definitely not alone out here. Um, and I'm excited that the tags are purple. <laughs> Just like my favorite color is purple. My pants are purple. <laughs> so yeah, I'm Still kind of processing what I want to say about starting. Um, still kind of thinking about all that. So just wanted to give you a little mini update as I head to Springer. <gasps> I think I made it. Oh my god. Not much for views, but so awesome. <sighs> okay, I made it up the approach trail to the monument. <sighs> Yay! It's pretty quiet. There's no one else up here. Maybe someone's in the shelter nearby, but I haven't seen anyone. So snowing, I just got my glove soaked by wiping off this trail sign. <laughs> but yeah, Southern Terminus, here I am ready to spend the next months, the next few months walking, hiking, connecting to nature, being still with myself and present with other people. I'm excited. <laughs> Here I go. Wow. So this is the first shelter I'm going to hang out at. It's the first shelter off of Springer Mountain. I think the Springer Mountain shelter. Whoa. Cool. <sighs> Oh my gosh, there's like bunks, loft area. Cool. Neat. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm gonna have lunch, hang out a bit in the shelter, and then keep going. I know my wraps video looked kind of ridiculous, but I actually did hike out like really delicious 
wrapped ingredients and I'm so excited to eat this. <laughs> Just got water from that little stream. <clears throat> I decided to do the dirty water bottle method just to hopefully make it easier. <laughs> I don't know. Water, filtering water is never the most pleasant thing when it's cold out. So yeah, hopefully this dirty water bottle method works and I can do it quickly. <sighs> okay, so a little update. It's 5 p.m. Um, I've made it a little over 16 miles. So I'm almost to Hawk Mountain Shelter. And I've gone, yeah, I've gone 16 miles. And uh, I don't know, I was on the fence and just kind of debating what to do. But I was thinking I would stay here tonight. But I just feel really good. And I just like want to find out like how I'll feel if I just try to make it seven more. Um, it'll definitely be dark before I get there, but I think to the next shelter. Um, so I'm gonna try to make it to Gooch Mountain Shelter, which is like almost eight miles away. Um, so I think I can get there around 7.30 or eight. Um, but the sun sets at around 6.30, <laughs> so that'll mean either an hour or an hour and a half of light night hiking. So that's, yeah, that's kind of gone into my decision. I know it's going to get cold, colder and colder as I walk. It's like, like low 30 degrees right now. I have like in the low 30s, I have a little thermometer on my backpack can't reach it but I'll show it to you later but yeah it's pretty cold I'm gonna put my gloves back on I just finished getting water so yeah I think it's just too early for me to stop and I feel too good so instead of going stopping here at Hawk Mountain which maybe would be the smart thing to do I'm going to press on and then it'll be around a 24 mile day so hopefully I make it <laughs> yep, here's the turnoff for Hawk Mountain Shelter. <sighs> I don't even know if anyone's there. I haven't been, haven't seen anybody really all day. Okay, so the sun, I think, might have officially set. <laughs> it's 625 and I have four miles to go. I got my headlamp out, so I'm ready, but it is just so foggy. Like, I cannot see even like 100 yards ahead of me. I'm like 50 yards ahead. <sighs> so. Yeah, hopefully the next four miles, I have four miles left. Hopefully the next four miles just go by well. They keep getting like giant, there, there keeps being giant gusts of wind. Um, and that's blowing the water from the trees. 
And then it feels like, is it going to rain? Is it going to start raining again? Is it going to downpour? <laughs> but for the most part, I just feel like I'm trying to just not be too nervous. Like I've night hiked before. Um, maybe there'll be some campers at this shelter. That would be fun. And if not, that's okay. Just kind of trying to be in the moment and know that even though I'm gonna be night hiking for at least three miles, it'll probably be dark for at least three miles. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going with the flow and experiencing it and hoping that it all goes well. <laughs> so more later. So happy to see the sign. Okay, I made it to Gooch Gap. Now let's go find a shelter. See if anyone's there. Hi. So it's the next day. I made it to the shelter, uh, Gooch Gap shelter, <clears throat> and yeah, it was 24 miles after like an hour and a half of night hiking, <laughs> maybe just an hour, but it was so misty and foggy that the light like from my headlamp was not very effective. <laughs> it was just like, you could see this like white mist just shooting at me <clears throat> as I walked and it made it so hard to see. But <clears throat> there was a few times I could have just set up my tent but I really wanted to just make it and I was able to see, you know, well enough. <laughs> so yeah, I feel really good. My body felt really good. I felt really good. And then there were people in the shelter, which made it nice, but they were also like asleep. Um, so I didn't have dinner, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> I'll eat more today and yeah I think for the first day I think the weather really set the tone <laughs> like it was so gloomy and like gray and rainy and so I was so excited but I think my energy was also just like pretty low all day um, but it was still such a beautiful day still so thankful that everything worked out the way it worked out I didn't get dangerously in trouble with the weather or anything. Um, I stayed dry. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so, anyways, I just wanted to wrap up yesterday's video because it was like I was in the shelter and so I didn't even get any clips of like laying out my stuff and, and things. I'll maybe try to do that in a respectful way with other people around. But I'm about to start today's video so um you'll have to check this out tomorrow <laughs> uh thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what you think and see you next time bye